What's going on, guys? So Tulsi Gabbard goes in the view, bringing talking about peace and non-intervention and uh, trying to get us out of the wars instead of keep going into the wars. And it was like Tulsi Gabbard slapped each and every one of the host's mother in the face. They turned like this on Tulsi Gabbard. Mind you, Tulsi Gabbard is a veteran. She served this country. She was in war. She was in, in, in Iraq when everything was happening uh, during, I mean, one of the, the peak times of the war. So she knows what, what she's talking about. She knows the price of war. She explains on The View what she had to do, deal with day by day, checking the names of the soldiers coming back, either grave, um, gravely injured, passed away, so on and so forth. So as she's explaining that it's a bad idea for the United States to keep doing regime change wars, Megan McCain has to interject and try to um, get uh, uh, interrupt her d- during her speech, uh, uh, her her whole thing, and basically insulted her by saying every time that she hears Tulsi Gabbard's name, she thinks of an Assad apologist. I mean, I I couldn't believe that the the questions they were asked. Asking her were like borderline, like insulting. You know what I mean? They're very, very insulting questions. And I, I honestly, um, watching that, I don't know how she kept her cool uh, during that because you, you, you can see in her face that she was noticeably bothered by these questions. But I know that she's trying to, she's trying to come off as this very loving, peaceful person, which she is. You know, uh, and she's very authentic in that way. So I know she was trying to keep her cool as much as possible. And she did snap back at Megan McCain and said that you're putting words in my mouth. Um, because Megan asked her, like, do you think, uh, did you say uh, Assad is not a enemy of the United States? And she was clarifying that a threat to the United States in her, in her eyes, in her mind, is someone that's a military force that can attack us. And since he cannot, he is not a direct threat to the, uh, to the United States of America. That's why she said that. But I, I, I'm glad she kept her cool because this is like during the day. And she's basically talking about our foreign policy and, and, and us going into countries and basically fucking them up. What we did, what um, she she noted about Libya, talking about what happened to Gaddafi and what happened later on, and Joy Behar is like that didn't happen before he was there when when um when Tulsi was talking about now we have modern day slavery going on in Libya in African countries, like th- most of these people on these networks have never heard of this, and as we see this going on, Nico House pointed this out before, and now I see it more and more, is that Tulsi Gabbard's more of a threat than Bernie Sanders is because Tulsi Gabbard's foreign policy is a direct kick in the face to the entire establishment. Bernie's, Ber- Bernie's foreign policy is anti, you know, anti-war, but it's not the thing he leads with. Tulsi's leading with this, and it's driving them crazy because... MIC, the military-industrial complex, runs both parties. And they don't want to hear somebody talking about anti-war and not going into countries and and, and things of that nature. They don't want to hear that on network TV where millions of people watch this every freaking day. So what do they do? They try try to uh, 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 counteract what she's trying to say and call her an apologist and this, this, and that, and smearing her, smearing her constantly, daily. You hear smears and keeps going and more and more and more. And then you have Anna Navarro coming out of nowhere talking about, you know, I disagree with you in in text and this, this, and that about Venezuela, Uh, uh, that the the Venezuelan people uh, want Maduro out of there. 
Okay, so let the Venezuelan people deal with it themselves. Let's not try to put our foot on the gas and say, oh, we're going to go in there and John Bolton threatening them and, 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 shit, and shit like that. That's what she's trying to say. Every time we get into these things, bad things happen. And it always ends up with boots on the ground all the time. I don't know. About you, I don't know about you guys, but I'm I, I'm really tired of spending our tax money. Fifty one percent. I believe it's fifty one percent. I could be wrong. And somebody can correct me in the comments. Fifty one percent of our tax money goes to military and bombing shit. When are we going to stop nation building other countries and nation build our own nation? Our infrastructure is dog shit. We have tons of cities around this country like Flint, Chicago, that don't have clean water. And the corporate media is not telling you this. You need independent media like Jordan uh, uh, talking about Flint. He's going. He, he went there um, uh, constantly telling people that there's Flint's water is poison. And now we know that there's tons of cities around this country, and we're supposed to be the greatest country in the world. And we and we have kids drinking poison water. I don't know about you, but I, I'm I'm I've I've totally had it with this regime change. War, war, war. We can have a strong military. We spend more than probably 12 other countries. And most of them are our allies. I want to get, tip my, my hat off to Tulsi to, to keep spreading the anti-war message and to keep her cool on the view. Because you can see it every day. Both parties, the establishment, they're together. And they don't care. War is nothing to them. And Jesse Ventura was asked a question, Governor Ventura was asked a question of um, voting on war is not easy. Somebody told him that and he said, he, of course it's easy. If you're not willing to send your own child to war, how dare you send somebody else's? I'm going to leave you with that, guys. You take care. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you like this. I'm trying to build this up and uh, spread the word. Donate to Tulsi because she needs to be in that stage. We need an anti-war politician on that stage. And and donate to Andrew Yang as well. We need his message. We need his message too. Peace, guys.